Hello everyone, welcome to Adaptica Electronics. In this session, we are going to discuss about message switching. Before going to the topic message switching, first we have to know what is switching. A network consists of many switching devices. In order to connect multiple devices, one solution could be have point-to-point -point connection in between pair of devices, but this increases the number of connections. And the other solution could have external central device that connect every device to each other via central device. Generally known as star topology, but these methods are wasteful and practical in very large circuits. So we choose the switching technique. One of the switching technique is the message switching we are going to learn in this session. Uh, first of all, why we are going to message switching? This is a switching technique that is used in data communication part for the transmission of data from the sender to receiver. Let's get into detail of message switching. With message switching, there is no need to establish a dedicated path between two stations. When a station sends a message, a destination address is appended to the message. The message is then transmitted through the network in its entity at T from node to node. Each node net receives the entire message, stores in its entity on disk and transmits the message in two next node. This type of network is called store and forward network. Uh, let's look at the block diagram of the message switching, how the process is going on in the technique. Uh, this is the A is the sender and H is the receiver. A sends the data to B and B is divided into C and D. C and D are divided into E, F and transmit the data to C, D to E, F and F to G and finally we get into receiver H. This is the process going on the message switching. Message switching node is typically general purpose of computers. This uh, needs a sufficient secondary storage capacity to store income messages in the transmission path. Uh, some of the message, uh, message switching has an expensive cost to the transmission of data. So maximum few may use circuit switching and uh, packet switching. Message switching as introduced using this type of scheme due to store and forward time plus the time required to find the next node is the transmit path some of the advantages of message switching are channel efficiency can be greater compared to circuit switched systems because more devices are sharing this channel traffic congestion can be reduced because message may be temporarily stored in route message priorities can be established due to store and forward technique message broadcast can be achieved with the use of address appended message couple of message switching we have in the message switching disadvantages of message switching message switching is not compatible with interactive applications we can't uh, interact with the sender and receiver only texting is happening in the message switching that is the main disadvantage of the message switching store and forward devices are expensive because they have large disk to hold potential long messages Thank you for watching video. Goodbye.